I'm here in Peters Park, in a bit of Massachusetts that's known as the Boston Neck. And it's not called that because it was once a gallows ground, although this bit of city was used for that at one point. No, this is called the Boston Neck because it used to be a small piece of land that connected the city of Boston, which was practically an island at that point, with the rest of Massachusetts and the continental United States. And if that small piece of land connecting a major urban center to the rest of the country seems like a good place to put a blockade or a fortification, you're thinking like an Englishman. The Boston Neck was small enough, it was only about 120 meters wide, that it was really easy to put a gate and other fortifications to prevent attacks from individuals you didn't want coming into the city of Boston. That's why the Redcoats fortified this area, and why the colonists fortified it against Native American attacks. And of course, now you can see around me that there's no fortifications. And there really isn't a small piece of land connecting a city that should probably be an island with the rest of the US. And that's because slowly over time, to combat erosion and to make more real estate, Boston filled in the area around the Boston Neck, more firmly attaching the city with the rest of the country. Even as Boston's power in the colonial United States, and later the New Republic slowly waned, the Neck grew. And now, it's just like any other part of the city. It's historic, and a bit modern as well. And that's just some more history beneath your feet.